It was Ryan. <laughs> Tagging on my window. <laughs> I got your ticket! God damn it, Ryan, you polite ass Mormon, I thought. <laughs> your mom? Hi, my name's Ryan. I'm a friend of Zara. We've got algebra together. Hey Zara, I got your ticket and already saved a seat. You saved me on my math test, so I figured I owe you. Anyway, great to meet you, Mrs. Norkabakakakish. <laughs> he shook my mom's hand, gave me my ticket, and ran into the theater waiting. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. You just ended my summer in any hope I had of a normal adolescence. I couldn't even look at my mother. So I just kept staring straight ahead. I could feel her glaring at me. <gasps> Zato, she began. Here we go, I thought. Zato, are you going to go? She asked. <coughs> what? I asked, confused. Was this some kind of reverse psychology? <laughs> <laughs> Mama Jun, there's traffic behind me. Get your bag, she complained. I grabbed my bag, undid my seatbelt, and reached for the door handle of salvation. Wait, she said. <laughs> I waited too long. A spot opened up in front of us, so she rolled in and parked the car. We sat in silence for what felt like forever. What the hell was going on? She didn't seem mad. I didn't know what to think or what to prepare for. Maybe Ryan's politeness impressed her. Maybe she's going to take back everything she said about men. Maybe she's going to apologize for all the time she yelled at me because she now realizes how great my friends actually are. <laughs> well, I really underestimated my mom. I guess the toughest thing about being the firstborn daughter of immigrant parents is that they have to catch up to as they assimilate into a foreign culture. Maybe I needed to initiate this dialogue to tell her it was okay if she felt bad about all the mean things she'd said before about my guy friends or the American ladies. Mom, Zahra, she cut me off. I just wanted to tell you. She had a distant look in her eyes, but then suddenly zeroed in on me with intense concentration. Zahra, you have a hole. <laughs> and for the rest of your life, men, will want to put their penis <laughs> in your hole. It doesn't matter who you are, what you look like, who is your friend. <laughs> Even at the movies, Mama John, wherever, it does not change. Ryan seems like a very nice man, but he is a man. <laughs> and all he wants is your hole. So I will pick you up here at 5 o'clock. Have fun, Mama John, she said. <laughs> Exposing my hole to the world <laughs> and clamp them back together again. The 
longer I held my legs together, the angrier I became at Ryan. <laughs> Look at him, all stupid-faced and smiling, <laughs> sitting there dipping his disgusting hands into greasy popcorn. This movie sucks. Why is he smiling? I was probably thinking about holes. <laughs> All I knew at that point was that date or not, he better not be thinking about my hole or I was going to kick his ass. <laughs> Thank you.